There's no better test for a car like the WRX than the great British B Road, and you won't find many better examples of those than the ones here in the Peak District. As the road rises and falls and twists and turns, completely at the mercy of this wonderful landscape, it's enough to put any car on its driver right through its paces. And the good news is the WRX feels completely at home on these roads. Mind you, that should come as no great surprise, because just a few months ago, British rally champion Mark Higgins set a new lap record around the Isle of Man TT course in a car virtually identical to this one. I realise I'm not going to get anywhere close to his 160 mile an hour average speed, but it didn't take me long to realise this is one very, very quick car across country. The stiff suspension keeps body roll to an absolute minimum, and that means you can maintain immense speed through bends. And then thanks to the four-wheel drive system, as soon as the road straightens out again, you can pop all that power down immediately. Best of all, this thing's very forgiving too. And I confess I'm given to the occasional bout of ham-fisted over-exuberance, but I'm here to tell the tale, and that tells you everything you need to know. There's no denying it's hard work to drive this car really quickly. After all, the engine doesn't wake up until at least 3,000 revs, and that means you need to make lots of gear changes through what isn't the best gearbox in the world. But for me, that's all part of the appeal. Maybe I'm a bit old school about stuff like this, but I think that makes the drive all the more involving and all the more dramatic. The steering is wonderfully quick too, and although it may strike some people as a little light, you soon get used to it. You can place the car with complete accuracy on the road and clip those apexes absolutely perfectly. There's loads of grip too, and for all that, perhaps the thing I'm most grateful for is the fact that the brakes are well up to the job of stopping this thing. Best of all, I get to seriously indulge all my rally driving fantasies thanks to the adjustments I can make to the way the car behaves from the comfort of this rather lovely driver's seat. In my heart of hearts, I know it's really just a bit of a gimmick, but with this control, I can adjust the differential. That means I can give the car better traction or more stability in slippery conditions, or even sharpen the handling even further when conditions allow that. Then with this control, I can adjust the sensitivity of the throttle, making the engine respond even more quickly when I press that pedal to the metal. I'm not going to lie and tell you the car is faultless, it certainly isn't that, but up here in the peaks, it's really in its element. I know we soon need to head back to the real world, but just for the moment, I'm going to pretend that its traffic jams and its potholes don't exist, wipe any worries from my mind about the fuel economy this thing's doing, and just enjoy what the WRX does best. I'm going to go for another blast across these glorious roads. <laughs> 